Well, it's the last of October, and the rain gutter garden is pretty much over with. However, uh, these strawberries are still hanging in there. Quite a few strawberries. Look at these rascals. Quite a bunch. Yeah, they're still putting on strawberries. They like this cooler weather. I didn't know that. And they're doing good yet. I still got two and a half rows of the strawberries, and then I got some more strawberries uh, over there. Well, none more. Uh, the other stuff is pretty much all done. I'm going to clean up the vines, dump out all the uh, potting mix, and save it, and then I'll add in more. Uh, well, I mixed in some well-rotted horse manure in with it because I already got the peat and everything in here. So uh, that's what I'll do with that. But I've got a, this is going to be salad tonight. A nice, one of the, I had pulled one of these out and there was one little uh, plant left and this is looking great. This lettuce can take the frost because I got down to, they said 25. I don't know if it got quite that cold here, maybe 27, but that looks great. And a strawberry, but I got all these beets. I'll show you what they're going to do. I'm going to dump them out. And I got the carrots, and I wanted to wait till the very last because they said they really sweeten up if you wait till a little light frost. So I'll get them dumped out, and we'll see how we did. And these buckets, you know, these were just, uh, these both, the carrots and the beets, were raised in, uh, you know, just the, uh, a standard one I bought at the dollar store down in Dollar Tree for a dollar, drilled a two and seven eighths inch hole and dropped in a three inch net cup and that's what they were raised in the rain gutter grow system and we'll see how they did and it looks to me I think I'm gonna raise a lot more root vegetables next year they did fantastic got a friend of mine at work uh, this Kathy she uh, her and her husband built three of them and they planted they had a couple they had four uh, buckets left over by when they got done planting everything and they put some potatoes in them they had some volunteer potato plants coming up, so they just grabbed them, popped them in there, and they got these beautiful tomatoes. They were really impressed, and they didn't get no potato beetles on them, and the rest of their garden got potato beetles, and they fought them all year. I think the reason is for that is um, the, those little nymphs, nymphs uh, the uh, Colorado beetle, uh, they climb, come out of the woods from what I've read, and climb up on the plants. Well. They can't climb up on these buckets and and because uh, they're pretty little fat things if you've ever seen them before. And I don't think they could climb And She said, we never had a problem. They're going to raise a lot more tomato potatoes next year. And so am I. I'm going to try raising a bunch of potatoes. Well, what they're going to do is the method where you put a little dirt in the bottom, put the potatoes, and then you cover them. And then when they grow up past that, you, you put more. And the idea is that it puts shoots out all the way up to the top of the bucket and you get potatoes at every level. Anyway, I'm going to dump these out and I'll be back and show you what the results are. Okay, I dumped out the two buckets, the one with beets and the one with carrots in here. And this is what I got. And I think it's pretty respectable. I mean, for one little bucket, look at the carrots. Nice. They've probably been bigger had I not crowded them like the beets here. But look at them. I mean, that is a nice meal. Real good meal. That's what I'm having for supper tonight. These beets that have got bigger had I not crowded them. But I'm going to raise a lot more root crops next year. Because they seem to really do good. Yeah, the carrots did great. And, uh, and the beets. So, uh, yeah, that's the deal. So, I'm going to try some potatoes, carrots, beets. I raised radishes earlier. They come out great. But anyway, that's the update. I'm going to be doing some, I don't know if I'll do it anymore this fall, but right away in the spring, we've got some people that want some real in-depth, uh, step-by-step instructions how to build the system and I can give you some pretty good tips on the mixture if you don't want to go buy a miracle Grow potting mix you want to make your own like I did 
I'll tell you exactly how I did it. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive to do it that way. And I'll go right through and show you. But anyway, that's the update. There's the beets and there's the carrots. And we're going to be taking them in the house and washing them up. And that's what's for supper tonight. Try a little bit of both. Next year, a lot more beets. And then we'll have pickled beets. Anyway, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Ciao.